Alright everybody, I was requested to make a video on why I think I'm a better man than Andrew Tate. Well, first of all, let me get started by just flat out saying this. This is for Andrew Tate directly. I'm going to go ahead and dissolve that tater tot into mashed potatoes, so sit down, son, and take notes. It's about time you learn something. So, I'm going to use one major example, all right? Now, I'm a contradiction to this example for one reason and one reason only, but there's only a particular part of it that I'm a contradiction about, and that's the smoking aspect. I saw a short that said that he smokes and he indulges in caffeine because he believes it's good for him. Yeah, okay, then he followed to say that alcohol wasn't good for him and he tries not to get drunk unless he's in a very private place or at his own house or anything like that. But at the same time of saying that, he says that someone at all times, including himself, is always armed. So, let's talk why I'm a better man. First of all, if I had his money, I would not be putting out what I'm putting out. That tells kids flat out, I got a lot of money, I'm gonna smoke, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drink monsters and all kinds of caffeine all I want, and when I decide to get hammered, I'm gonna do it and make sure I am armed. That kind of sends a juvenile delinquent type message out there considering there's so many people that are following this guy. There's a difference between leading by example and not leading by example, and the one thing that you need to take into consideration when it comes to the youth, and the reason I say sit down son when I refer to him is I am actually older than this man. And like I said, I had his money, I wouldn't be doing this. But the one thing you need to absorb from children is that they are a sponge. How many times has one of you tried to tell a kid, don't do this, and they do it? Almost all the time. One way or the other. Even if it is just a tiny fraction of what you told them not to do. However, children lead by example more than direction. Okay? And what I mean by that is you can tell a kid all you want. Hey, don't do this, don't do that, don't do this, don't do that. But if you're not willing to be the number one example of it, you're not going to make the impact you're trying to make. I don't care who you are. So that's my reason, number one, on why I think I'm a better man than Andrew Tate, because I don't believe in any of that stuff. I don't believe in manipulating the youth's mindset into thinking that it's perfectly healthy for them to indulge in tobacco and nicotine. It's perfectly healthy for them to indulge in caffeine products that could be potentially harmful for them. And then, most importantly, we don't even know the age group of how many kids are actually paying attention to this guy. So when you look at that fact, you start thinking to yourself, oh man, you're promoting drinking to kids that could potentially be under the age to be able to drink. And what you're telling them is that don't get hammered if you're out in public or anything like that. But when you're off alone, make sure you got protection in your guns and your knives and whatever you got. And then feel free to get as drunk as humanly possible. That's a no-no. How many people get drunk, get under the wheel of a car? You think there isn't a lot of people that don't get drunk, high stoned or whatever and put a bullet in their head? That's just another thing that you got to look at. I mean, you look at the statistical input of people, they're more likely to do what you show them you're doing. They're more likely to talk about what you're talking about. Okay? So, rule number one to being a good man in my eyes, don't listen to Andrew Tate. It's that simple. All right? So, if you want to see more, then let me know. Drop it in the comments. Go ahead and like this video if you did like it. If not, that's fine. I totally understand. This is a really back and forth topic that a lot of people like and a lot of people hate him. So I understand if you got mixed feelings. Even if you don't like the video, drop a comment down below, please. Let me know what you think, what your thoughts are, any type of 
contradiction if you feel like talking about it and if so I'll keep making videos on it if not I won't so in the meantime I got a whole bunch of other stuff including chickens my bus drop video that, that basically is going to tell the story about what I did when I got my schoolie and how I was able to live in it for so long and then on top of that the one that everybody seems to like other than the Andrew Tate issue is my teeth yes my teeth I got a video on that too all right so if you're interested check it out but till next time hit that like button destroy that subscribe button and kick the bell out the window so you don't have to worry about it anymore we'll see you later